Hi, this is Shedi and recently I posted a video talking about some of the techniques that in my opinion should be allowed back, uh, specifically those that are in the traditional Koryu and Jujutsu moves that are very old and also that can reflect some tradition but also be very effective in randori and self-defense and also in my opinion very safe techniques to be pulled like Obi Otoshi, Obitori Gaeshi uh, and I proposed some rules uh, about some leniency when it comes to uh, grabbing uh, pants specifically around the skirt area and immediately attacking uh, not just like straight up leg grabs as you see here in front of you but uh, like grabbing the fabric and just attacking uh, and someone suggested that why not do a video talking about the evolution of the, the rules when it comes to the IJF and I figured that's actually a great idea. So I went on and looked uh, when it comes to the rules trying to find some old PDFs. I did stumble upon an old one and that was the 2010-2012 rule set and I'm gonna talk about the first ever uh, leg grab ban and how it evolved, uh, how it was partial and even today it's still uh, evolving. There is some leniency and I'm gonna show it when it comes to the rules of today, when it comes to putting pressure on the leg when attacking and I'm gonna show it. So first I'm gonna go back to the 2010 rules, uh, 2010 and 2012 and show you how it was first uh, put up and I somewhat agree. So let's start. So the first one was if you attack immediately and directly it's in Hansuko Make. In my opinion that's a bit too much. Uh, Ashido would be more logical in my opinion. So you see here you have the Kochiki Daoshi, you have the Kataguruma straight hugging the leg, you have the Kibisu Gaishi, the ankle pick and finally the Morote Gari. Uh, all of them are which illegal in the context of immediately attacking. Uh, so this was the first ban is the uh, immediate attacks however uh, there were some options of where you can do these uh, techniques and uh, it was in the form of uh, a setup so for example you start with the technique and you finish with a second one so for example let's show the uh, next one for example here you start with kochigari uh, but then you finish it with like an ankle pick or a kibisu gaishi here you start with ochigari you grab the leg in order to push and support your Ochigari. Uh, the third one is you start with Ippon Seoenage and you twist and turn and you uh, complete it with a Kataguruma or a Morote Gari. Uh, I've shown this before when I talked about the octagon analysis. The Morote Gari, you drop down as you're fainting with Seoenage and you pull the legs. So you have to start with a legal attack in order to finish with a leg grab. This is how it used to be, uh, which is fine, but uh, I tend towards more the judo of today. For example, here you start with Kochi, you pull the leg. Let's see it again. So here you attack with Kochi Gari, you pin the leg and then you le lean down and grab the ankle and pull it, which is a Kibisu Gaishi. So uh, that's fine in my opinion because uh, here you have something like uh, you start with Ippon Judo, you do your Kumikata very well and then you attack with a leg grab or finish it with a leg grab. So in their opinion, it would make Judo more, uh, you know, back and forth with kumikata etc you just not lunge and take kataguruma or morotegari which is fine uh, there was another option is that someone is trying to attack you say with seonage you reverse it with sukuinage uh, sukuinage was a great reversal back in the day uh, you just grab the leg show some strength and just slam them whenever they are trying to do whether it's uchimata haraigoshi Seoenage, uh, Hizaguruma, you name it. Uh, Sukuinage was a great counter attack. Uh, let's see it here. So, here someone is like trying to do like a Uchimata or a Harai Goshi, wrap the, the arm around the leg, lift them up, and slam them. So, that was back then legal. 
but you cannot do Sukuinage almost immediately. Uh, there was something that I got wrong before, um, the double leg takedown where you just lift them up and slam them, that's still particularly Sekuinage. Morotegari you just go down, pull the leg towards you and then you fall down and forward. It's not lifting up so I apologize for the uh, factual uh, error. So here for example like an Uchimata, you reverse it with Sukuinage. So like I said either uh, you start an attack, you finish it with a leg grab or someone is trying to attack and you counter attack with a leg grab that's how it was between 2010 and 2012 until 2013 where it became Hansu Komake to just grab the legs all together but now it's a Shido which is a really good I'm very glad uh, there's also other leniences that I will show later on another situation where you can grab the leg and attack immediately is if someone attempts a cross grab it's called the Georgian cross uh, where you do like a high Russian arm but on the other side it's like diagonal there you can grab and attack the legs immediately it's it was perfectly legal uh, however it is an immediate Hansukomake if someone set, does like a Russian arm and you take your head to the other side to make it like a cross grip so you can attack that's Hansukomake uh, however today's uh, rules are getting a bit better for example here you can grab if your elbow does not pass your shoulder behind you when you're doing say Kochi Makikomi or uh, you can uh, press with your forearm if you're doing Ochigari here and you go down on your knees or if someone is like really tall and you can press with your forearm when you're grabbing the sleeve however the not allowed is the skirt with which I disagree with uh, I discussed it in the uh, previous video here you cannot put your uh, like grab the knee or pressure the knee or if your elbow uh, surpasses your shoulder when doing Kochi Makikomi uh, this one is illegal so and now uh, before it was Hansu Komake now it's a shido which is i'm like i said i'm very glad you know you can grab the the skirt uh, or below the belt a little bit down by accident and could happen but to make it hansukomake is ridiculous in my opinion or your uh, elbow can pass your shoulder when doing kochi makikomi by accident uh, to make it a hansukomake is uh, absurd so i'm very glad that it's now a shido only but when it comes to grabbing the skirt and the pants that's under the skirt and attacking immediately, like I said last time, it's in my opinion, it should be allowed back because attacks like Sukuinage, uh, Morotegari, like this one here. This one is Sukuinage for the sheer strength. He did not pull towards him. This is Kochi Daoshi, Kochiki Daoshi, I'm sorry. Uh, if you just grab the, the skirt, even if it's under the belt and attack with like Obitori Gaishi or Sumi Gaishi, uh, Obi Otoshi, that's fine in my opinion. Uh, but like I said, there is some leniency coming back with the whole elbow and forearm press on the leg. Very happy. They should be a little bit more adjusted, uh, but you know, bringing back wrestling altogether no i like the ippon judo of today it has allowed explosiveness and more fluid judo uh, maybe in newaza competitions that's fine grab the legs all you want because the ippon must come on the ground like a pin or a submission so grab the legs that's fine that's only like two points or whatever but uh, when it comes to ippon judo uh, i feel like it's gonna get a bit better I don't care about grabbing legs it's only a couple of techniques but like I said uh, a little bit of leniency in the rules when it comes to the skirt level grabbing uh, that's it that's all I'm aiming for because it will bring back some old jujitsu techniques uh, some classical ones that in my opinion this is a rock bottom if you smell what the rock is cooking uh, <laughs> so uh, if you have anything else to add, um, this is the progression of the leg grab ban. Uh, this was how it started and now we have this. Uh, so if you have anything else to add, please, it's wide open down below. This was Shady and as always, thank you for listening.